So on the run, you sit at the line, <clears throat> you're probably in the car three, four minutes, and you're sweating so bad, it's unbelievable. It's, it's your complete body is soaked before you even start. It's so hot. The signal that we have with the push truck, we have a stick shift push truck because our other push truck broke. So an automatic would push it easier, but we need to get this thing off the line around 55 miles an hour. So to do that, we start off the push truck in second gear, it's a diesel, and then he goes to third, which means I get a bump like this, and then he brings third gear up, and then I get a, he short shifts third to fourth in the push truck, and I get another bump like that. And that's and then he brings me up, and I look at the speedometer around 55, 56 miles an hour. I, re, I, I arm the air system, which is right here. I go, arms the air, the shifter. I release the clutch, I give gas, and I take off. And as soon as I release the clutch, my left foot is now going to cover the brake pedal and it's going to start just tapping it because I'm going to be giving more and more and more gas trying to accelerate as hard as I can. The back end is going to be hunting for a spot to gain traction, so it's going to be slipping and sliding. The left foot is going to try to control that, that slippage while the right foot continues to push down until I see the shift light, at which point I hit number two. Second gear is also having slippage issues, but at that point I'm going to be at least full throttle or three-quarter throttle. The shift light won't come on unless I'm at full throttle. So I'm going to be near full throttle at that point, and again, controlling the, uh, the slippage with the left foot. And as soon as we're out of that and we see a shift light again, I'm going to hit the button again, and my left foot's going to drop below the clutch pedal. And now it's going to be all right foot, and it should be at that point pretty much 100% throttle. And then I'm going to hit the button again, and that's going to put me in fifth gear. And if we can do that by mile three and three quarter, that's going to give us a run up. Um, and at that point, that's the real slushy part of the course. The car starts to wander and lift. I don't want to use the brakes at that point. That's really just steering, and that's where the steering comes in. And you know, sometimes you have to go 90 degrees this way, sometimes 90 degrees this way. It really depends what the car wants to do. Uh, as soon as we clear the five mile. My hand is supposed to go down here and hit the chutes, first the right chute, then the left chute. I drive through the first chute. Uh, what that means is I stay on the gas, I pull the chute, I wait for it to hit. And then when it hits, I don't know how many G's it is, it's quite a bit. Your eyeballs feel like they bounce off the windscreen. But it's, a, it, it's not a bad hit. And uh, then, I, um, then I start easing, easing off the gas. And I'm still in gear, I haven't shifted out of gear, and I hit the second chute. When the second chute hits and the car stabilizes, at that point I come completely off the gas, I hit the fuel and knock that out, then I take the air uh, shifter and I disconnect that. And at that point I'm coasting, my right foot then covers the brake, and we try to keep the car going as straight as possible. The speedometer comes back around 275, and then I, as the car slows down around 180 or so, I start looking for the access road, and I've been taking the access road around 120. So it's a left-hand turn, and it gets you off the course. And uh, then at that point, you just coast down the access road until you get to the end, pretty much. And uh, somewhere along the access road, around 80 miles an hour, or so 80 to 60 to 80 miles an hour, I. Um, I pop the hat and I disconnect my belts and I take my gloves off and then at that point the car is going at about 40 miles an hour and then I, um, because my gloves are off, I can reach back and disconnect my Hans device and then at that point I can loosen my helmet and I can flip on my visor and I get some air. And then the car pretty much stops and, it, and, and then my steering wheel, go, to disconnect the steering wheel, it goes up, I pop the hat, I flip it up and I pop out of the car take off my helmet as quick as possible, take off the Hans device and take off the helmet, and then strip out of the suit, which is soaked.